Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another episode of In Conversation with Bright Minds. And today we have with us Pratibha Singh. She is currently doing her master's from Madras School of Economics, and uh, she has also done internship at Goldman Sachs uh, in her first years of year of masters in economics. So, welcome to the show, Pratibha. Thank you so much, and thank you for that introduction. Thank you. So, uh, Pratibha, we would like to uh, you know understand about your background, about where you did your bachelor's from, and why did you choose MSc for masters. Okay, so um, I've done my schooling from the Shriram School in uh, Gurgaon, okay. and uh, since tenth grade itself, I think you know, big thanks to my tenth grade economics teacher, I developed you know interest in economics, and since then I was very sure that I wanted to do something in economics. I didn't know whether that would be from India or abroad. So having you know reached twelve. then we decided that maybe you know my parents felt i was a little too young to go abroad right after my school so they said we'll uh, you know let you go to du so i got admission in jesus and mary college delhi university and i completed my bachelor's from there in economics itself um post that um i decided to go for masters but um, i felt on my part that that decision by me was taken a little too late like i took this decision to go for masters only in my third year and not not even in the beginning a little later than the beginning so i felt that um, you know had i taken that decision right from the beginning like a lot of students go with the mindset that they want to pursue masters i feel they're set in a much better position to be able to prepare for those masters um, entrances so that's about my background and then msc happened so i came to chennai and i am now pursuing my masters in financial economics here got it so um how is msc exactly uh, how is the faculty how is the campus and um is it worth you know going all the way to madras to pursue this degree right so i mean i had this question as well because um having lived my life in the ar are uh, accustomed to a certain kind of culture certain kind of people places that you're very familiar with but um, you know moving out of your comfort zone and going all the way to chennai i think that was a really good step for me because living in the hostel and living alone um that aspect only teaches you so many things um you know about just being independent and um you know coming to specifically about msc i think msc is a great college to be in um you know the faculty is uh, we got visiting faculty as well as you know people who are uh, you know, in the faculty as well so i mean you know they are our classes are very interactive and always uh, focused on the applicability of the things that we learn in the classroom so um, you know and these things come out a little bit more in your second year because in the first year the curriculum is such that it focuses mainly on polishing the concepts that we learned already in our ba so we had basic micro macro stats maths in our very first semester whereas from the second we started to split up into specializations so um, as you know msc has five specializations within itself so um, in the second semester we probably got varied subjects you know in the first semester we all had the same ones and then in the third it kind of diversifies even more like right now i have subjects from you know econometrics macroeconometrics um, financial derivatives fixed income securities financial regulations whereas someone pursuing a masters in economics but environmental stream is much different from me and so you know same is the case for someone having a masters in general economics actuarial economics or quantitative finance as well so making that decision is important for students because that's very varied um secondly the campus life so msc holds a lot of panel sessions when a lot of speakers professors and even politicians bureaucrats come to our college almost um, you know about in a month like two to three times we have these sessions and we talk about various issues related to economics or whether you know what's happening in the world of policy or international trade so i think it's a really um, good setup for any individual to learn and grow from because the faculty is great 
they listen to you you've got an interactive classroom you've got um, sessions to stimulate your thinking as well moreover having pgdm as well as phd in your campus you get to learn a lot from them as well because they have a different set of curriculum you know phd students especially have been specializing in one particular uh, stream so you get to talk to them you get to learn things from them you kind of understand where you want to go after masters would you want to pursue a phd or not so i think that way msc is a great place to be i think it's brilliant so um, you know many like like uh, during our time we used to hear this thing that only financial economics and general economics have a good placement opportunity and other like for example it was heard that environmental economics uh, would not give you a good uh, placement opportunity so is that okay. true or or the placement is same for all these five courses okay so i mean what i would say is that that's not true because uh, the thing is the whole idea that msc gives you the chance to specialize in one of these which is very rare like if you look at a dsc or even you know an igid or something they have one ma course and that's probably it and so goes for jnu apart from there being two streams but since msc offers you that i don't think that's a pull back for you but rather i mean i would probably like to substantiate my argument with an example like barclays comes to our campus for placement and it looks mostly only at environmental economics and uh, even now i feel even ey like one of my friends is now placed in ey and she is from environment and the thing is right now there's a lot of talk going on about sustainability green finance and wherein your uh, students from environmental economics have a great edge because they understand resources resource allocation all these things they know very well at the same time uh, of course you know if you are doing a financial economics which is my case we get tons of opportunities from a lot of companies as well but i don't think there is any such discrimination or uh, you know lack of opportunities being from a certain course sure short sure, maybe your roles might differ based on the specialization that you are doing but uh, i think those are things that probably students should keep in mind before they opt for that particular specialization but also uh you know uh, the cut off that goes for environment is that much lower as compared to financial i don't think so i'm i'm not i mean i wouldn't want to say something that i'm not fully sure about i'm not 100% sure if that's the case um i'm not too sure i think it's just purely based on your like marks that you get and then if you are at a certain ranking your preference is given to you then hmm. so got that's it. probably how i perceive the place i mean the admission process to take place got it so uh, how is the placement uh, at msc do they provide enough internship opportunities and uh, you know so so always whenever you go for any college one thing that people think is what is the return that they're going to get after two years so how is the return versus the investment at msc okay so um the thing is that if you talk about internships um at this time we had a lot of internships coming in as well as for placements uh, msc is known for having good placements and internships there as well so um the number of companies that come in for internships are far lesser than the ones that come in for placements that's for sure but having said that when you talk about the return on investment that you're doing i think you know a lot of people did not get an internship during the summers but the whole idea that you're exposed to such an environment and you're exposed to students and peers around you working so hard learning new things you get internships from outside you know you have to make that extra effort to go ahead and go on a linkedin or probably have some connection and you know ask them to offer you an internship um apart from that there are you know internships if not corporate there are rbi internships there are internships in ig idea itself there was an internship this summer that happened so a student or two went from msc as well and uh, i think that's there but uh, placement is great i'll tell you so the highest package for our seniors were uh, was around 17 lpa and the average goes about 11 lpa for us so that's just for the ma program the pgdm uh, program differs from us but i'll like be talking about ma only so i think the roi is good i mean in you know most of all i mean if you just isolate just the monetary part 
I think it's different for everybody because everybody comes from different backgrounds and, you know, what you value the most also matters, you know, whether you get a 20 lakh job, but at the same time, you know, probably your understanding of concepts is not that, you know, good or concrete. Whereas even when you get probably, you know, like not a high paying job, but the environment that you grew up in, the kind of learning that you have, the kind of grasp that you have on concepts that you will be able to build yourself even in corporate after that, because that's just the door to corporate. After that, how you build yourself and how your skills are, are what really matters. So I think that way I, I feel it's, it's, it's good. It's decent. Right. Got it. And, and how is the hostel life at MSC? Uh, especially, you know, I ask to all students who go from, from, you know, uh, North part of the country, how do you feel there? And how comfortable are you staying at MSC? Right. So, I mean, at MSC, we've got a huge lot of population coming from the north, you know, a lot of it coming from uh, West Bengal. Like we have a lot of like a lot of my friends are Bengalis as well as our professors. We've got a ton of people coming from UP, Bihar, Haryana, Rajasthan. And of course, you know, the southern states as well have, you know, Kerala, Karnataka, Bangalore, everything, you know, it's just an amalgamation. I think um, MSC is just a really like a boiling pot of so many cultures that when such a scenario takes place, it becomes a place like a home for everyone, you know, because you're so far away from home, whatever you have, you make a home out of it, you know. So uh, in hostel life has taught me a lot of things. I mean, you know, I've become a lot more accepting for sure. I've learned a lot more life skills that I didn't think I would need, you know. So, um, it was a struggle at first. I did not uh, adjust really well to it. I'll be very honest. At first, I just wanted to rush back home as soon as I got the chance. But then you make friends. And, you know, with friends, you're able to cope up with hostel life, garmi, this, that. Because the, the temperature difference is huge from when you come from Delhi to Chennai. But... Uh, and it is awesome. Of- awesome temperature right now here, you know. The weather yeah. is so good at Delhi. I don't know what happened <laughs> that so soon winters have already hit Delhi. So here it's like if I, if I go outside right now, the sun is so bright. Like I can't go out <laughs> before five. So, you know, we're all inside, cooped up inside our own uh, spaces. Mm. But uh, I think that's the fun of hostel. Like, you know, even with all these difficulties, that's the where the fun lies. You know, if you have a lot of comfort, you just kind of, you know, ask for more. But since we do not have a lot, we kind of just make do with what we have, you know, it, see, you know, sleep together, get up together and, you know, shared bathrooms are there. And then we have, the, you know, food in the mess together. And it, I think it's great. Um, Apart from that, like, you know, even the people in the mess, they speak a lot of Hindi. So you're comfortable with that way, you know, because a lot of them come from Bihar or the northern states. So you don't feel out of place here. Something or the other, someone or the other is going to be there for you. And you will feel at home. So yeah. Got it. Got it. Sure. So so Pratiba, one last question I have. You can you share your internship experience and you know how you got placed and uh, what are the things that a student should be doing in their first year of masters so that they get a good internship? Okay, I think that's a really important question. So um my internship was at Goldman Sachs. I'll talk about my experience first. I think Goldman is a brilliant place just to, you know, start your career with and even have an internship with, right? I mean, uh, you know, the kind of exposure that you get, the kind of ideas that you share over there, I think it's nowhere else. You know, I mean, I was allowed, not allowed, but I was welcomed to be sitting amongst you know, directors or, you know, really senior level people on the same table and ask for my opinion that, you know, what do you think of particular problem? And, you know, what, how would you go about it? And I wasn't asked as an accessory, like they really were listening to me, which was a huge shocker because this was my first corporate internship. And I didn't really think they, you know, would listen to someone, you know, who's much, much younger to them, has far less experience. But I think that's what Goldman really looks for. It looks for a lot of diversification. It looks for a lot of people from diverse backgrounds and mostly people who have, you know, bent of mind where they're questioning everything with logic and being reasonable about things. 
So I think because, I mean, my background is not from commerce. I was from a humanities stream, whereas Goldman is a investment bank, you know, so you require, you don't require, but like, you know, you would expect that, you know, they would want someone from commerce or something like that. But uh, I was there for two months. And let me tell you, it was a brilliant experience. I learned so much, uh, not only, uh, you know, picking up skills on, uh, you know, Excel, Stata, all these things, Python, but even soft skills about how to maneuver your way inside a corporate culture, what to say, what not to say, things like that. Um, coming to the skills part of your question. So, um, this is true for any internship whatsoever. I will not be talking in specification to Goldman. So um, I think corporates are looking for a lot of academic projects with you. So in your undergrad, you should have engaged with something. So they want someone who's done something over the years, right? They want someone who's well engaged with any stream that you're probably interested in, you know? So if you would have done some academic project, that's great. Secondly, you should have uh, had some experience with some coding language that is uh, that would probably provide you an edge and basic understanding of your uh, concepts. And by basic, I mean what we learn in our either first semester of masters or even in our BA. You know, basic macro, micro. A city would come or probably, you know, um, standard chartered would come and they would ask you very basic questions about macroeconomic phenomena. You know, what is multiplier or, you know, why or how would banks ride a wave of uh, uh, economic slowdown? You know, so these things, even with logic, if you learn some things, you know a few ideas and theories, are able to build up on the answer and give it to them. So I would just suggest that be thorough with your reading of macro, micro, and basic current affairs that are happening around the world. You know, that is very important. And apart from that, your coding languages, and along with a good, strong academic project. I think that should probably seal your boat. Got it. So it was a campus uh, placement, was it? Yes. So Goldman came to MSc for the very first time. That was in my year. I mean, okay. you know, last year that they came. And this year itself, they have come again for internships again. Okay. So, um, yeah, I mean, you know, that was a campus uh, internship that I got. Far other people, like, you know, we had Gartner come in, EY come in, uh, AB and Bev, JP, all these companies do come in for internships as well as our placements. Got it, got it. So in that way, it's it's really nice that good corporate, uh, you know, uh, organizations come there uh, for the internship opportunities also. Absolutely, absolutely. Got it. So uh, I think, Pratibha, this is going to be really helpful for all the students, all the information that you have shared. Uh, you know, a lot of times students, um, they kept, uh, you know, they're very confused when it comes to MSc versus IGIDR versus IAFT. So uh, when they know all the pros and cons of joining joining a particular place, uh, they can make the right decision where they want to Absolutely. go ahead and what they want to join. Uh, thank you so much for your time. And, uh, you know, especially this is going to be a festive uh, time. So I hope that you enjoy yourself also. And any plans yeah. of coming to Delhi during this festive period? No, I'd be fine to go. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, it's really nice there. I just had my time some time back i just went there it was good it was a rainy yeah. season though but i think yeah. the time it's it's becoming better better season yeah. ahead okay True. best of luck pratibha for your final thank placement you so and i much, hope that you get it at the best place thank you thank you so much thank you so much ma'am take care